What's up guys? Back with another video here. I want to say thank you guys for giving me suggestions on what to do for videos. I'm definitely going to take a lot of those into consideration. What I think I actually will do is a raw thought video every week. Not a full on review video, like a 10 or 15 minute review video, but just a thought video. Because I've kind of been wanting to do one of those for a while, so yeah, I think I'll do it. But keep in mind, I am a bit of a procrastinator, so I can't promise you that I will do one every week, but I will try to do one every week. So bear with me. Okay, so I did a Faith 5 video here recently, but I decided that I want to do a least Faith 5. Basically, my least favorite superstars, or the top five, anyway, okay? These are going to be very unpopular opinions, because I seem to be the queen of unpopular opinions. I just am. That's how I roll. I don't roll with what everybody else likes. So anyway, let's get into the list. And number five is probably going to be the least popular out of all of my picks. So I'm just going to tell you in advance. Number five is Christian. Now I'll tell you why I put Christian on this list. Brood Christian and Christian of Edge and Christian funny Christian was good Christian somebody that I was actually entertained by now when he went off on his own I thought he kind of went downhill this is just my opinion okay and face Christian is a whole lot better than heel Christian because when they turned him heel especially more recently instead of being like the aggressive mean heel he became the whiny baby heel who just sits around and whines and complains that he's not getting matches you know how he did the one more match thing he just became really whiny like a little boy and I find him to be really annoying just that's just my opinion again I, I just really wish that he would stay face or just change his character completely because I don't like heel Christian he just grates on my nerves Okay, number four of my least favorite superstars would have to be Dolph Ziggler. And this is not taking anything away from Dolph Ziggler's ring skills because he's a great performer. He's quick and he has, you know, great wrestling moves and all that. But I just think he's just the same old braggadocious kind of heel who, you know, spray tans and he's got the bleach blonde hair. I don't think he has anything to offer besides his wrestling skills and to me personally maybe he's just a really good actor but he seems like a bit of a jerk outside the ring he just seems like he kind of takes the Dolph Ziggler character with him outside the ring and I don't really dig that too much nothing about him truly stands out to me Ex and I'm not talking about his wrestling skills I'm talking about his character he just doesn't really do anything for me He's supposed to be this big show-off that we're all just supposed to flock to and love, but I'm not really seeing it. Ziggler kind of sucks. Okay, moving on to number three. Number three, um, I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, sorry. Number three is CM Punk. Again, this is a very unpopular opinion because Punk is just so adored right now. It's not even funny, but um, as I said, uh, as I have said in previous videos, he was good with the whole pipe bomb era, but then he just went downhill and, and became just like any other babyface superstar. Um, he's supposed to be the king of pipe bombs, but he just comes out there now, and you know it's true. He just comes out there and says the same thing every week, whether it's against John Laurinaitis or whoever. He hasn't really changed himself up ever since he became the biggest thing ever. When was it? Last summer when he stole the uh, WWE title. I think he's overrated. I do not think he is the best wrestler in the world. He claims that he is. Usually whenever somebody claims that they're the best at something, they're not and they know they're not, but they want you to believe that they are. And... I don't know. I've went back and forth with Punk a lot, but here lately, I don't think I'm going to change my opinion on him. I was for Chris Jericho the whole entire time, and I always will be for Chris Jericho. Okay. Number two would have to be Daniel Bryan. Yes, man. I think that he is 
overrated too. And once again, I'd like to reiterate, I'm not talking about his wrestling, I'm sure. Yes, he is a great wrestler, but he is another whiner. The yes thing is so incredibly overrated. It's nothing like the Watt chant. The Watt chant was stupid, but it was funny, because don't call me at work. But Daniel Bryan, in a storyline, I mean, he was like domestic abuser to AJ, and... I don't see what else he possesses besides the yesing, okay? Let's let's pretend like he never came up with that whole yes thing. Would people still be all about Daniel Bryan? I don't think so. He came up with the silly catchphrase and, you know, Seamus beats him in 18 seconds and all of a sudden everybody starts liking him. I don't understand, but maybe that's just me. And number one will never change. Number one is Randy Orton, a.k.a. Robo Orton and a cure for insomnia. He's boring. His promos are boring. He's monotone. I don't see what in the world people see in him. I find him to be the most boring person on the roster. And when his promos, like I said before, start out with, my name is Randy Orton. What good is that doing? How is that making you charismatic? And I thought he was great as the legend killer. Not great, but a whole lot better than he is now because he actually showed some personality. He's just like a freaking robot guy standing there. I don't see why people scream and cheer and just want to see this guy because to me, he is just blase and he offers nothing. He really offers nothing. Maybe he should just turn heel again. I, I don't know. But he just, ugh. He disgusts me. He just really does. I think he's way overrated. And as a chick, I don't find him sexy. Like, in the least, I don't find him sexy. So anyway, these are my opinions. Just my opinions. Feel free to share your thoughts. And tell me if you, I mean, if you want to make a video response to this, that would be awesome. I'd like to hear your opinions. Um, once again, thank you for watching my videos and for subbing to me. And your thoughts and your comments and your support is always appreciated. Alright, love you guys. Bye.